Hello friends, I am Rajneesh and today in this session we shall be understanding how to increase the size of RAID 1 partition. RAID is a redundant array of inexpensive disks in which we combine multiple disks to form a single RAID disk. It could be increasing the performance or fault tolerance. So in this present scenario we will be using RAID 1 which is also known as mirroring. In the first scenario we will be adding two physical or virtual disks of 50 max each and we will be creating a RAID 1 or mirroring using them. Effectively we will be creating a RAID device DevMD0 of 50 MB. After that we will be adding two disks of 100 max each replacing the previous 50 max disks. The data will still be there and uh, we will be increasing the size of the disks or you can say the size of the read array by replacing the disks. Let's see how the lab goes on. At present we have only one disk attached to this virtual machine which is VDA. Let's add two more disks to it. We are using type word IO because it adds the disk to a virtual machine without requiring the reboot. In case I will be adding ID disk, it wants the virtual machine to be rebooted before this virtual disk can be accessed from the virtual machine. Okay, so we have added two disks. Let's see. Now I can see two more disks dev sdb and dev sdc each of 50 max each. Let's format these disks using uh, or let's partition these disks using fd or rate auto detect type. new partition primary one type ft right same with the next one new partition primary one type ft print right so now we have two partitions dev sdb1 dev stc1 both are to of type raid let's create a raid device now minus n is the number of devices we'll mark it as 2 minus l level 1 means mirroring dev vdb1 dev vdc1 so it's specifying that this array has metadata at the start may not be suitable as a boot device in, in case you want to create it as a boot device you need to create an init array with support for RAID or you can specify additionally you'll have to specify metadata equal to 0 0.90 continue creating yes so now to see the details let's SSH to the server or we can do it directly also here you can see the status of the read it's read one name md0 it's active and these are the two devices with the indexes or the other option to see the details mdadm minus minus details dev md0 sorry it's detail 
here you can see the read level is 1 the size of the read is nearly 50 max read devices are 2 super block is persistent active devices working devices here you can see all the details now let's create a folder slash read it's already there so mount this partition before mounting we'll have to format it mkfs dot ext4 or uh, ext3 whichever we want to use we can format it now we can mount it dev md0 slash rate df minus h now uh, you can create any file or transfer any kind of data to it the data will remain intact minus p slash edc is this config let's copy it to slash rate you can see all those files so the size is 50 MB to increase the size we'll have to add two more disks which will be replacing these disks let's add them Here you can see that two more disks of 100 megs each have been added. Let's partition them. okay we are done with it now what we can do is uh, okay I think I already created a read corresponding to this devices dev vde1 and dev vdd1 so that seems to be active let's destroy that now let's add these devices to RAID 1 or MT0 sorry BNC are already there let's add uh, minus minus manage div md0 minus minus add so it's added and this is E1 so we are added with the other two disks now what we will do is we'll fail these devices dev vdb1 and dev vdc1 one by one and we'll remove them out of the read 
please note that we have to remove them one by one we'll remove one after it has been rebuilt completely we'll remove the second one let's see how so you can see that dev vdb has failed so uh, this VDE1 is now building and it has been rebuilt and VDD1 is still acting as a spare let's fail uh, so the read has completely rebuilt we can fail C1 also so now B and C both can be seen as failed you can see F over here and after it has been completely rebuilt or we are safe to remove these two devices now so now you can see that we have two devices the VDE1 the VDD1 to see the additional details let's move to MGADM minus minus detail dev MD0 you can see uh, the size of the array is still nearly 50 max but the size of both the disks as you can see F disk dev SD D it's uh, sorry VDD it's mm, it's 100 max and the same is for VDE now to let the read known or to grow the read let's see how we uh, grow the read MDADM minus minus grow we can specify minus minus size equal to whatever size in case max it will be used to the full so here you can see that the size of the read has now grown and it's rebuilding 66 percent is completed so it's rebuilding and after it has been rebuilt the size of array will become 100 max but there is still one more thing that is to be done the size of the read partition is still 50 max to increase the size we have to type the command resize to fs slash read mm. dev MD0 it should be device so after you have resized you'll see that the size of your read partition has grown to nearly 96 megs which is close to 100 megs so the last thing you can do is you can modify your ETCFS tab to consistent entry corresponding to read device it will be dev MD0 over here slash uh, read over here the type of file system default 00, 0 and it will work so this is how read size of the read can be increased when you are using a mirrored device thanks for listening bye for now